Our today's goal is to create a cube. A cube is a 3D object, but uh, we have a 2D plane of observation, the screen. So we must use uh, some techniques uh, to pass from 3D to 2D. And here is when the perspective projection help us. In perspective projection, there is a plane of projection called plane Z and a point of observation called point O. The goal is to project a point P on the plane Z with a line that passes toward point O. First, we use math to calculate the equation of the straight line R that pass towards both points. x equals px minus ox dot t plus ox and similarly for the other two directions. Once we know that, it's easy to calculate the point of intersection. It is just a simple system of equations between the straight line R and the plane Z. We obtain t equals z minus z of O all divided by z of p minus z of O. And the corresponding value of x on the plane will be the previous equation with the t value just calculated. The solution has sense only with positive t value. Otherwise, we are behind the screen and there is no needing in draw any points. In many cases, it is a good practice to draw points only if them are not too far away from the camera. So we can hide object with a t greater than a given value. Let's write the code about this. Now that we know how to take a step, let's try to run. We must create the cube surfaces. The surfaces are just a collection of three or four points that can be or not be visible and with a certain distance from the observation point. The cube has six of them and it is way easier to create this geometrical shape parallel in respect of the plane Z and only after to rotate them with proper function. In this situation, every point is distanced from the center of the cube half of its length in each direction. For every side, we do the same thing. We fix a coordinate for all four points of the surface and the other two coordinates change in this way. Minus minus, minus plus, plus plus, plus minus. What else? We must decide what surfaces must be drawn first, in order to have a human 3D view. For every surface I must list and sort the distances of each point from the point of observation. The surfaces on screen must be created with this criterion. Draw first things far away from the screen. In this way, the last things created cover all the surfaces behind. I leave you two videos to understand the importance of sorting the surfaces. Finally, we must introduce the color and the movement. For the color, I will return in a different video because the code that I implemented now is not perfect. The translation of an object is very simple. You just add a certain value to each direction every time a key is pressed. The rotation is more complicated because it requires the use of different rotational matrices. Once you find the center of rotation, you must remove the coordinates of the center of rotation, apply the rotational matrix, and finally adding back the coordinate of the center of rotation. This is the final result. Thank you.